So much to get to. Meteorologist Rich Fields is here now with weather. Rich. Very busy day in Southern California today. Shower and thunderstorm activity popped off uh, late last night and it lasted right through the day and we could even see some early tomorrow. Let's go to the satellite and radar product right now. There it is on a six hour loop and you can see some of the lightning strikes that we had uh, earlier today and throughout much of the morning as well. Thousands, literally thousands of lightning strikes. Let me pop in the current Doppler radar. We have cleared out nicely through northern Los Angeles County and through the Antelope Valley. Everything has exited out of Kern County. All the activity now is east of the mountains through uh, much of Riverside, San Bernardino County, some fairly decent cells outside of Hemet, and then outside of the Coachella Valley as well, just east of the Salton Sea and south of the 10 Freeway. We've got real time lightning strikes popping off there and some very heavy thunderstorms. This is what's prompted the National Weather Service to issue the uh, flash flood warnings and the uh, severe thunderstorm warnings earlier this afternoon. We still have some warnings popping off right now. Again, that weather from the Antelope Valley has now moved off to the north. Let's back out a little bit, and there's the Center of circulation right over Kern County, Santa Barbara County at this hour. So uh, the, the counterclockwise rotation of all of this weather is going to continue overnight tonight as this storm slowly moves off to the east. Here's our watches and warnings to talk about at this hour. We've got flood uh, watches posted in the uh, light green color for portions of San Bernardino and Riverside County. These are aerial flood watches uh, due to the thunderstorm activity over the area right now. We've got uh, flood warnings posted north of uh, the Bakersfield area and flash flood warnings posted through portions of Santa Barbara County at this hour. Uh, most of these are lasting through the uh, 8 o'clock hour. Some probably will be renewed come 9 o'clock as well. There's currents on the screen right now, most notably downtown at 72 degrees after hitting 83 for the daytime high, 3 degrees down from yesterday. So shower and thunderstorm activity is going to continue overnight tonight. They will linger in the mountains and deserts through Saturday. That's right, still a chance at shower and thunderstorm activity through Saturday for some areas. And then another low comes into the picture by Sunday bringing cooler temperatures. Looks like it's going to be a dry low as this one exits out of the area. It starts dropping from the Pacific Northwest, but it's an inside slider. So instead of being out in the Pacific picking up water, it's going to be dropping into Southern California. But the big trough is going to open the door for much cooler air coming into the Los Angeles area and the surrounding communities. Extended outlook for the next seven days. Cloudy skies, 82 downtown tomorrow, 79 at the beach, 86 for the valleys and IE. Could see some residual shower activity along the coast for the early morning commute as we see some wraparound flow. Here's your mountains, your IE and your high desert. 63 in the mountains tomorrow, 82 in the IE. High deserts at about 84. Once we get through the Sunday uh, event, we're going to start seeing high pressure building again. Clear skies and warmer temperatures will return to Southern California. But for how long? Ladies, back to you.